I'm David Bish. I'm a professor of mineralogy at Indiana University in Bloomington. My role with the Mars Rover Project has been, I am probably the, the major X-ray diffractionist on the team, so I have a lot of experience with the instrument and with analysis of the data. An X-ray diffraction instrument grew out of a laboratory instrument that is about the size of a double-wide refrigerator. And naturally, you're not going to fly a double-wide refrigerator to Mars. It's a little bit too large. And we've miniaturized this to the size, approximately the size of a shoebox. My name is Jürgen Schieber. I'm a professor of geology at Indiana University Bloomington. By profession, I'm a sedimentologist. Basically, I study sedimentary rocks. As a geologist, we use a lot of images. You know, we, if we cannot go somewhere, we look at it from the air or from a distance and so forth. And so we, we have a lot of training in looking at images of surface outcrops and so forth, try to figure out what they actually mean. You know. I've been basically studying Martian imagery since about, well, for the last 12 years, more or less. The rocks that we hope to find traces of ancient life in, from our earthly experience, are probably mud rocks or shales. So I was one of the few people available, really, to cover that angle of the project. To be able to analyze the first X-ray diffraction data from another planet as a person who's interested in mineralogy and x-ray diffraction, it's a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Without fundamental research and people just doing it, we wouldn't be sitting here. We would still be, uh, you know, hanging around in caves. Just understanding Mars and working on something like a Mars Science Laboratory mission really gives you perspective on our place in the solar system, our place in the universe, how we fit in. And a lot of the technology that we've worked on, personally, that I've worked on on this mission, has grown into something that can be used on Earth. <laughs>